Orient, Hovey Lake. The confluence of the Wabash and the Ohio is a couple miles that way. It's a pretty big watershed that's draining straight down through this point. This area in particular is extremely biodiverse just to have all this cypress down here. It's so wild, it's so cool. It's such a unique place. If you look at an aerial view of the area, there's tons of these little oxbow lakes and sloughs all around, just kind of creating this ideal habitat for waterfowl that stops here and winters here. The Lower Wabash is just a really special place. Since it is the confluence of the Ohio River, the Lower Wabash River it is an important flood plain area. It gives the water the area it needs to be able to spread out over the landscape. That helps relieve the flood pressure of those downstream communities. We've lived in a floodplain our entire life. Floods are a, just a natural part of our life out here. There's an old joke that they say it's either too wet or it's too dry, except for one hour it farms perfectly. And they say that's always the hour you're at lunch. So water is constantly on our mind down here in this area. I can literally recall probably five feet of water where we're standing right now, not, not that many years ago during the growing season. All this ground up here is really good ground, grows very good crops when the weather permits, when the river permits. But there's times when the river just comes up and it just makes it too wet to farm. From the point of view of a farmer, you get to the point where you throw your money into a crop year after year and the river, the wetness just takes it. You finally just throw your hands up and say, there's gotta be something better to do with this ground. We have been working in the Lower Wabash for nearly 30 years, and we have been able to restore 100,000 acres of floodplain in the Wabash Basin. Part of what we're working on is to try to identify how much of a nutrient reduction we need, how much sediment do we need to reduce, how much floodplain do we need to restore to be able to reach that state where the Lower Wabash is able to function as an entire system. This is the White River coming in right here. So we're moving from upstream to downstream. We are going through a mapping project to show us where we can restore floodplains to get the most benefit for wildlife and the human needs. We're developing a plan for the Nature Conservancy to essentially implement environmental actions to improve the ecosystem within the Lower Wabash River. So we can build in things like habitat suitability for individual species of concern, or maybe we're interested in improving water quality, you know, denitrification or reducing sediment loads. Using the tool, we can identify areas that would help meet the goals that we're interested in achieving. We're doing the mapping to try to create a list of prioritized sites that are gonna give us the most bang for our buck, the most benefit for the work that we're doing. Farming is an extremely important part of this community. We can't live without farming. We have to have farm ground. We have to have farmers. So we are conducting a series of landowner meetings along the Wabash River because we want to see how the Nature Conservancy can make it easier for conservation to be adopted by the local communities. People in the communities want the same things that we do. They want to be able to go out and enjoy the river. They want to be able to see wildlife and see birds in their backyard and see the floodplains functioning with reduced flooding. By coming up with these solutions together, we are going to be able to have a better end product that's going to live on for generations.